welcome to my class cloud computing infrastructure as a service iaas the national institute of standards and technology nist defines three basic cloud service models first one infrastructure as a service second platform as a service third software as a service let us look at what these cloud service model provide iaas infrastructure as a service it includes data center physical plant building networking firewall security server and storage so infrastructure include data centers networking security server and storage platform as a service it includes operating systems development tools database management and business analytics so platform as a service includes operating systems development tools database management and business analytics software as a service it includes hosted applications or apps this information has been created for the benefit of students that they can well understand what includes iaas infrastructure as a service what includes platform as a service or what includes software as a service in this particular video session we will talk about infrastructure as a service iaas is a hardware level service infrastructure as a service is a hardware level service it allows cloud users to use these resources without having to own and manage their own resources it provides computing resources such as processing power memory storage and network resources for cloud users to run their applications on demand it changes the computing from a physical infrastructure to a virtual infrastructure through virtual processing power virtual storage and virtual network by abstracting the physical resources in simple words means one organization or a person need not have a processing power need not have storage or need not have networking facility but these facilities will be provided to the user in reality they are away from the user but it appears that user is having all these three things together with himself infrastructure as a service providers manage processing of hardware memory storage network and computing resources in this it architect the cloud user need not maintain the physical servers as it is managed by the service provider infrastructure as a service quickly scales up and down with demand letting you pay only for what you use in case you need more processing power then you can apply for the infrastructure provider to provide you more processing power in case you need more storage then infrastructure provider can provide you more storage for your data so you pay only for what you use it helps you avoid the expenses and complexity of buying and managing your own physical servers and other data center infrastructure each resource is offered as a separate service component and you only need to pay rent for a particular service for as long as you need it services offered by infrastructure as a service provider the first one is compute services second storage services the third one 
network services and the fourth one is load balancers services an infrastructure as a service provider provides the following services the first one compute computing as a service include virtual cpus and virtual memory that are provisioned to the end users second storage storage as a service s t a a s it provides for storing files some of the infrastructure service provider provides backend for storing files the third one is network network as a service m a a s it provides networking component such as virtual routers switch and bridge etc the fourth service is in the form of load balancers load balancing as service l b a a s may provide load balancing capability at the infrastructure level now what are the different characteristics of infrastructure as a service the first one web access to the resources this model enables it users to access infrastructure resources over the internet second elasticity and dynamic scaling depending on the load infrastructure as a service it can provide the resources as and when needed it means uses of the resources can be increased or decreased as per requirements the third one shared infrastructure this particular model follows one to many delivery model it allows multiple cloud users to share the same physical infrastructure and thus ensures huge resource utilization the advantages of infrastructure as a service eliminates capital expense and reduce ongoing cost this model eliminates the expenses of setting up and managing an on site data center making it an economical option for startups and other businesses second advantage it improves business continuity and disaster recovery business continuity and disaster recovery is expensive since it requires a significant amount of technology and staff but with the right service level agreement that is sla in place the infrastructure as a service can reduce this cost and assess applications and data as usual during a disaster the third advantage is rapid installation the moment you decide to launch a new product the necessary computing infrastructure can be ready in minutes or hours rather than the days or weeks and sometime months fourth respond quicker to shifting business conditions this model enables you to quickly scale up resources to accommodate spikes in demands for your application during the holidays for example then scale resources back down again when activity decreases to save money fifth advantage focus on your core business this model frees up your teams to focus on your organization's core business rather than on it infrastructure sixth advantage increase stability reliability and portability with iaas there is no need to maintain and upgrade software and hardware or troubleshoot equipment problems with the appropriate agreement in place the service provider assures that your infrastructure is reliable and meets service level agreements seventh better security with the appropriate service agreement a cloud service provider can provide security for your applications and data that may be better than what you can attain in house eighth advantage is it gets new apps to users faster because you don't need to first set up the infrastructure before you can develop and deliver apps you can get them to use up faster with infrastructure as a service 
Now the disadvantages of IaaS infrastructure as a service. The first disadvantage is security. Security is one of the biggest problem in infrastructure as a service. Most of the infrastructure as a service providers are not able to provide 100% security. Second disadvantage, maintenance and upgrade. Although infrastructure as a service providers maintain the software, but they do not upgrade the software for every organization or clients. Third, interoperability problem. It is difficult to migrate virtual machines from one IAS provider to other so that customers might face problems related to vendor lock-in. Examples of infrastructure as a service. Network as a service, NAAS. It is an instance of infrastructure as a service. It provides user with needed data communication capacity to accommodate busts in data traffic during data intensive activities such as video conferencing or large file downloads. The service provider shall provide this service over the internet on pay per use basis. NAAS providers operate using three common service models. The first one virtual private network VPN, second bandwidth on demand BOD and the third one is mobile virtual network MVN. The second example is storage as a service. It is an instance of IAAS. It is an ability given to end user to store data on the storage system of service provider. STAAS user can access files at any time from any place. It provides storage infrastructure on a subscription basis to those users who want a low cost and convenient way to store data, synchronize data across multiple devices, manage off-site backups, mitigate risk of disaster recovery and preserve records for long term. Database as a service DBAAS. It is an instance of infrastructure as a service. It is an ability given to end user to assess the database service without the need to install and maintain it on the pay per use basis. Desktop as a service DTAAS. It is an instance of infrastructure as a service. It provides an ability to the end user to use desktop virtualization without buying and managing their own infrastructure. DTAAS is a pay per use cloud service delivery model in which the service provider manages the backend responsibilities of data storage and backup. A cloud computing service provider such as Azure manages the infrastructure while you purchase, install, configure and manage your own software. Like operating systems, middleware and applications. These are the examples of infrastructure as a service providers. There are number of companies which provide infrastructure services. Thank you very much.